Morning guys, my name is Jerry, I'm from WildEye, and this video is not going to help you to process your images better. However, it is going to look at, and this is something a lot of you guys I know struggle with, because it's one of the questions I get often on Safari, on email and so on, is how to manage your files, your, your digital images within Lightroom. Now, there seems to be a very big disconnect with a lot, a vast majority, I think, of the people using Lightroom, that it is not only an amazing processing program, or well, Photoshop, if you will, but it can also manage your files, and it's, for me, the strength in it really is managing the digital content. Now, this is not a how-to and a tutorial top to bottom. I want to just quickly talk broad strokes through catalogs, folders, and collections. This is the core of Lightroom's library module. If you understand those three, and we can dig into more details later on, if you understand those three, your life, I guarantee you, is going to be a lot more simple. Right, now, one of the questions often, people come for private uh, Lightroom sessions here at the office with us, and you open up the Lightroom and it is an absolute mess. There are attached hard drives, there's files that are missing, there are collections, there are folders, there's different catalogs. You need to understand that as Lightroom gives it to you here, this is a top to bottom approach. Catalog into folders into collection. You cannot have a collection if you don't have images in a folder and you can't have folders in Lightroom if it's not part of a catalog. Does that make sense? Kind of a bottom to top? But now let's start at the top here. A catalog within Lightroom, let me open this up. A catalog within Lightroom is in theory, one Lightroom file, yeah? It's one file that Lightroom opens up and then you work in that file. We're talking back-end stuff here now. So, Lightroom cannot open more than one catalog at a time. Okay, so to wrap your head around this, think of a catalog, for example, as a photo album. You have, on a wall, you have a cupboard and there are five photo albums or catalogs. You can create multiple catalogs within Lightroom, but you can only open one at a time. Now, if you have, bear with me here, if you have those multiple catalogs, or photo albums if you will, if you open the one catalog, yeah, the other ones are still on your hard drive or on your cupboard, the files are still there, the images are still there, but if you've got this catalog open, Lightroom only shows that to you, and that's what you can work on. This is a tough one for a lot of people to understand coming into this game because I've had people on Safari who would literally create a new catalog every single day because it seems like a good idea. The only time I would really suggest that you do multiple catalogs is if you shoot different genres of images. For example, if you shoot wildlife on the one side and you do, I don't know, weddings on the other side, you would have a, a wildlife catalog and you would have a wedding catalog catalog. Does that make sense? Because I don't want to go and see lion killing wildebeest, leopard up in a tree, bride getting dressed, um, groom looking nervous, elephant walking and spraying water. I would want to keep that content, the genre separate. So if you only shoot one genre, you don't need more than one catalog. Hoping this is making a little bit of sense. Guys, this is quite a deep topic to kind of do in a short video like this, but let's give it a bash anyway. So, catalog is your top level. For you to open Lightroom, you have to have a catalog, yeah? You can close a catalog and open a catalog, but you can only work one at a time. I've done videos in the past, and if you have specific questions, let's just pause for a moment. Guys, any questions that you guys ask me on my Snapchat, Instagram, email, whatever, that is ideas for new content, and I love taking a question side of it and then producing the content, because I know there's value there. So, any questions, keep them coming. Right, so from the top down, I've got my catalog open. Now, the catalog is a function of Lightroom. It's a file that sits in a Lightroom directory. Your raw files, listen nicely to this, your raw files, your digital images, do not live inside of Lightroom. They do not live inside of Lightroom. You have to open a catalog, and then your folders sit elsewhere, either on an external hard drive, in a different directory or on your computer, Lightroom purely references them and shows it to you. It is the same thing as if using any other program. Lightroom doesn't own those images. You tell Lightroom which folders to show you on your screen. You tell Lightroom which folders to not show you on your screen. So when you import either using Lightroom or using um, something like, I don't know, 
Microsoft Explorer or Finder, whatever it is, uh, you copy those files into a directory like you normally would and you just reference them in to Lightroom. Yeah. Now, your folders will consist of all your raw files. The, 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 in the old days, your film, yeah? Your raw files, all of them. You go and shoot for a day with me in the Masamara. We end up with 2,000 images because we had a lot of crossings. You copy all of those files in. Your folders equals your raw files. Happy so far. Now, like I said in the previous video, I'm not gonna come and visit you and say to you, hey, John, can you please show me all your images from that amazing day in the Masamara? Please, God, don't show me all 2,000 because, and I don't care who you are, there's rubbish in there. Mm -hmm. So, you would then, as the next step, create a collection. A collection is the final place, the final holding area, if you will, of your completed, pro your complete, completed? Your completed images that have been processed. There you go. Think, Jerry. So, you're going to have a catalog that's Lightroom. Your inside of your catalog, Lightroom references images that are from a specific folder, and then once you've completed them and you start categorizing, then you throw them into a collection. Check on screen here. So, catalogs open, all photographs. My catalog, this particular catalog, consists of just over 100,000 raw files. These are not hero shots. These are not even half hero shots. These are just my raw files, right? Under folders, this shows me where my actual images live. So, if I open Wildlife 2016, Wildlife 2016 is a directory on my hard drive, and every one of these underneath is a separate directory underneath that. Okay, so I ask Lightroom to please reference all the directories and show it to me here. If I log onto my computer and I open up Finder, for example, like I work on Mac, I will see the structure looks just like this. Yep. Yeah? If, for example, bear with me here, guys, this, it will make sense. If I had inside this directory another directory but i didn't ask lightroom to show it to me yeah it will still live on my hard drive but it won't show up here because lightroom in in, in a way to make your life easier only shows you what you want to see happy with that so catalog at the top which is the lightroom photo album if you will that's open the folders are all the raw files that that lightroom references into that catalog and then now this is the gold. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. Collections is where I place my final images. Once I've gone through and I've done videos on this, rating my images, labeling, keywording, whatever, I then put them into a collection. Now again, and I said this on my latest Instagram post as well, don't look for recipe-driven answers. I'm going to show you what I've done with my collections. If it, you, if it works for you, then use it. If it doesn't work for you, take what you can. Take the steps. Take the... What's the word I'm looking for? Take the tools and make it work for you. It's not recipe driven. So what I did, because I get to travel a lot, I've done destination galleries as a collection set. Yeah? Underneath that, I've created another collection set, Botswana, Kenya, South Africa, all the countries. Let's open Kenya, for example. Under Kenya, I've created collection sets called Ambaseli, Lake Vasha, Nakuru, and so on. And let's go, for example, open Masamara, and then I have collections. Notice these icons are different for future use, yeah? So, after my 2011 Mara trip, I went through, I processed, and I added, if I now click on this, it'll show me my final processed images from that trip. I can go to the, the folder for this, and there will be 5,000 images, but I'm not gonna use them. That's how photography works. You have to shoot, and then ultimately pick your images out of that. Okay, I'm not saying rattle off and just fucking brrr, go for it. I'm saying you're still going to shoot and choose one or two images. I then, for example, Mara 2013, if I click on here, this is the collection for Mara 2013, and these are my final processed images. So, John, if I come and have a drink with you at your house and you're going to show me your Mara images, I want to see your collection, your final collection of images. I don't want to see your raw files. I'm sure they're lovely, but I don't want to see them. I want to see your final pretty images that shows your kind of a best of. Now, I'm going to just do a very quick how-to in here. In order to create a collection, right, you go to collections, and then you've got this plus and minus, hit plus. This pops up, create collection, smart collection, collection set. 
I'm not gonna dig into smart collection for now. If you have questions, email me, I'll do a video. Um, you can create a collection which is a standalone collection. For example, Big Five, Lion, um, Kills, if you're lucky enough to see those on a regular basis. You can do a destination based, whatever the case is. That is a single standalone collection. So let's do one, boom. This opens up, I give it a name, my awesome collection. And if you have collection sets, you can place it inside and then it starts looking like my structure of destination galleries. Destination galleries into country, into destination. If not, leave it alone and then create. So down here now, my awesome collection has zero images in it. That's how you create a collection. To add images in, as simple as from your folder, let's say for example, I'm in Medicare. Remember, these are raw files now. I can simply open my collections here, look at these, and I can click and drag it into there. As only once you've completed the processing, yes. I can click and drag and put that, no, that's a shitty image. Um, I don't know, let's take the, I don't know, let's take this one. So once you've then process image drag, process image drag, once you've done this, John, I can then come to click on my collection and I will see only those images. Right, guys, that is a very, very quick overview of catalog, folders, and collections. Something I could literally, well, and I do on our Lightroom courses, spend at least three, four hours on this because it is vital. You get this right, everything else is a breeze. Let's be honest. The processing side of Lightroom and of our wildlife photography is fun. Okay, it's not as much fun that I want to spend the whole damn day on it, but if your structure is sorted, you'll never get to that frustrating, and I know you've had this, you'll never get to that frustrating point where you think, shit, where is this image? I can't find this, I actually can't do this, there's too many. Start working like this and it'll definitely make your life a lot easier. Now, I suggest you go back onto the YouTube or on my Facebook page and look for the video on labels, keywording, and star ratings because that links to this. You can, for example, once you're going through your raw files, you can select four or five images, star them, and move those into a collection. They all work together. Guys, don't ever think of any of these tutorial type stuff that I do or anybody else does as standalone. It's one little link in a much, much bigger picture. Once you start understanding that and you're paying attention to the steps, things will start making sense. Right, that is catalog, folders, and collection. If you have questions, guys, leave me a comment, hit me up on Snapchat, on there all the time, as with Instagram, and I will either get back to you personally or I'll create another video to try and answer it for the community as a whole. Good luck, let me know. My name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye. I'll see you guys next time.